Welcome to the HowToNetwork.com review of the top 10 most expensive IT certifications currently available. IT salaries depend on many factors, including experience, location, supply, and demand, to name just three. But the biggest factor affecting your salary is your certifications. Certifications demonstrate you have satisfied the vendor's requirement for associate, professional, or expert level in their software or technology. If you add certifications to on-the-job experience, you will quickly see your salary level rise over time. Before we count down the top 10, please take a moment to like and subscribe to the channel. Every week, we add IT certification news and tips as well, and full courses and hands-on configuration examples you can use in the real world. Here's the list in full. Some you can study from home using your own materials and equipment, but some vendors will only certify you once you take their approved course, either in person or online. We've included both the cost of training and any exam fees, which can often be over $2,000. Bear in mind that some exams take around 18 months of study or more before you can attempt it. Certifications such as the Cisco CCIE require you to attend a certification lab in locations such as San Francisco or London, so you need to bear those costs in mind. Some certifications are passed in two steps. First is a theory exam, and second, a hands-on lab, so check with the vendor as to their requirements. Without further ado, let's start at number 10. Cisco are arguably the biggest name in the IT world, and after over 22 years, their certifications are still considered to be the gold standard. The CCNP is a professional level IT exam, so you can optionally take the associate level first if you don't feel quite ready yet. Before you take the CCNP, you will ideally have around 18 months hands-on experience, although it isn't compulsory. CCNP certified engineers can earn from $40,000 to $100,000, depending on experience. You don't have to take Cisco approved training before you certify, but you will need to spend a significant amount of time configuring and troubleshooting using their software. Cisco recently made big changes to their certification tracks. Now you can specialize as a CCNP in collaboration, enterprise, security, cyber ops, DevNet, data center, or service provider. Each track requires passing one core exam and one free choice from a set of around five. You have to factor in around three to six months study per exam. CCNP salaries are very competitive, making it a very valuable certification to have. Number nine. In 1999, the SANS Institute formed Global Information Assurance Certification, or GIAC for short. It's an independent entity that grants certifications in information security topics. Course topics from the SANS Institute include security essentials, hacking techniques, intrusion detection and incident response, network defense, mobile device security, auditing, digital forensics, and related security topics. Depending on your own experience level, it can take around six months to study. You can self-study, but if you choose to use an affiliate, the cost will be around $7,600. Exam fees are around $950, depending on your exam choice, but salaries can be over $100,000. GIAC offers more than 30 security certifications across introductory, intermediate, advanced, and expert levels. The SANS Technology Institute offers five graduate certification programs focused on cybersecurity engineering, core, cyber defense operations, incident response, industrial control system security, and penetration testing and ethical hacking. At number eight is the VMware Certified Design Expert. Costs for training can reach up to around $15,000 and can take up to two years of study, but the high salaries make it an attractive proposition. There are currently only 269 VCDXs across the globe. VCDX certification is achieved through the unique solution design defense process, where all candidates must submit and successfully defend a production-ready VMware solution before a veteran VCDX accredited panel. This process ensures that those who achieve VCDX status are peer vetted and ready to join an elite group of world-class consulting architects. In order to have a recognized certification, you must complete an authorized VMware course. 
so you can't get away with self-study this time. That will significantly add to your costs. At number seven is the Oracle. Oracle is a computer technology corporation best known for its software products and services like Java. Although the company's four main business segments are cloud and license, hardware and services, Oracle sells its cloud engineering services and systems and database management systems. They offer a huge range of certifications and certification paths. However, their most expensive is currently the master level coming in at over $1,700 dollars for the exam. Becoming a maximum availability certified master shows you have the ability to create a high availability or disaster recovery solution for an Oracle database ecosystem. Database systems administrators who are responsible for high availability, disaster recovery, or both can earn this elite certification by earning three challenging Oracle database certifications. Oracle Database 12C Administrator Certified Master. Oracle Certified Expert, Oracle Database 12C, Data Guard Administration. Oracle Certified Expert, Oracle Database 12C, RAC and Grid Infrastructure Administration. For number six, we are back with Cisco Systems. There was a time that the CCIE was considered the pinnacle of interworking certifications, but there is more competition now, and CCI salaries are comparable to CCNP. It's still a popular certification though, but you need to set aside around 18 months of hard work, pass a written exam, and then attend one of their lab locations to take the eight hour practical lab exam, which only has a first time pass rate of 20%. So you may well have to pay to take it twice at least, although some people take five attempts. Cisco designed the expert certifications to validate your end-to-end -end IT lifecycle skills from planning and design to operating and optimizing. The CCIE is among the industry's most widely recognized and respected certifications. Cisco expert certifications tell the world in no uncertain terms that you know what you're talking about. CCIEs generally plan and support large networks for blue chip companies and rarely get involved in support work or dealing with end customers. They are often self-employed and travel around the globe working on projects. Number five. Red Hat is the world's leading provider of enterprise open source solutions, including high-performing Linux, cloud, container, and Kubernetes technologies. Red Hat has become associated to a large extent with its enterprise operating system, Red Hat Enterprise Linux. Red Hat also offers Red Hat Virtualization, RHV, an enterprise virtualization product. Red Hat provides storage, operating system platforms, middleware, applications, management products, and support, training, and consulting services. They offer certifications from beginner to expert level, but at the top of the tree is the Red Hat Certified Specialist in Security, or RHCSS. Preparation for the RHCSS can be around three to six months, but bear in mind that you will probably have several years experience before you get to this point. The RHCSS exam can lead to more advanced certifications with Red Hat, such as the Red Hat Certified Architect or RHCA. Because Red Hat is used by 100% of Fortune 500 companies, commercial banks and technology companies, you will always be in high demand as a certified engineer. We're back with Oracle for number four. Obtaining the Oracle Certified Master Credential requires passing an on-site practical exam conducted in an Oracle University classroom that tests candidates on their ability to perform database administration tasks in a live database environment. Skill sets are timed and require a high degree of Oracle database knowledge to successfully complete. It is highly recommended that participants have a minimum of three to four years of Oracle database administrator experience. More typical of the qualified candidate would be five years or more. Number three. A Red Hat certified architect is a Red Hat certified engineer. Red Hat Certified Enterprise Microservices Developer or Red Hat Certified Cloud Native Developer who has attained the highest level of certification by passing and keeping current five additional certifications chosen from the system administrator and developer lists. Red Hat provides the opportunity to earn two different kinds of Red Hat Certified Architect certifications. Red Hat Certified Architect in Infrastructure, and Red Hat Certified Architect in Enterprise Applications. Number two, 
The Information Technology Infrastructure Library is a set of detailed practices for IT activities, such as IT service management and IT asset management, that focus on aligning IT services with the needs of business. The ITIL Master Qualification Certificate is the top-level certification of the ITIL scheme. This certification will validate a professional's capability to apply ITIL's principles, methods, and techniques in the real business world. The ITIL Master Qualification prerequisites are certification at ITIL expert level. To become an ITIL master, you will need at least five years experience working in IT service management in a leadership, management, or advisory level. The ITIL master designation requires a strong background in ITSM and extensive hands-on experience working with ITIL, but there is no training course or fixed syllabus. Number one, of course you can choose not to bother getting certified at all. In fact, several years ago, you could get by with some experience because there were too many jobs for too few people. That's all changed now, and you must be certified in order to do your job. The only surefire way to get called for job interviews in the current market is to prove you can do the job. You can do that by passing the vendor's certifications. Even vendor neutral exams, such as the CompTIA A+, Network+, Security+, and others, feature configuration as part of their exam test. Companies can't get insurance without employing certified engineers. They also get discounted equipment and superior vendor support because having certified engineers mean that the equipment is being installed, configured, and supported correctly. One other thing to bear in mind is that most certifications have a three-year lifespan, so you may have to take written and or lab exams again. Exam topics are regularly updated, so you will have to study hard to keep on top of your game. We hope you enjoyed our countdown. Please remember to like and subscribe to get more content like this. If you plan to get certified, then please check out our websites, 101labs.net and howtonetwork.com. Both feature IT certification and career training practice exams and access to live Cisco equipment 24-7. See you next time.